friends and we do everything together. Even best friends have limits, Sam. Clover's right. Why don't you go sign up for the spelling bee huh? while we wait here? You know, where it isn't so geekified. <sighs> Fine, I'll go in by myself. Cheer up, Sam. When you're done, we'll take you out for some celebratory spring rolls. Isn't it a little huh? early for celebrating, Clover? I mean, the actual competition isn't for a few days. Trust me, Alex. No one's gonna beat Sam. She's like a total shoe-in for victory. Oh, I wouldn't be so <gasps> sure about that. Now, out of my way. I've got a spelling bee to sign up for. You're joking, right? I mean, since when are you into spelling? I am not into spelling, Sam. I am into winning. And more importantly, I am into oh. beating you and showing everyone that not only am I the prettiest, best-dressed girl at Bev High, I am also the smartest. In fact, my daddy has hired a world-famous linguist, a professional hypnotist, and a top yoga guru to make sure that I get what I want. So good luck, Sam. You're gonna need it. <coughs> ah! If she thinks I'm gonna let her win my spelling bee, then that hair dye has definitely seeped into her brain. Well, what are you gonna do, Sam? Mandy's got those two brainiacs and that, that, that yogurt guy. I'm gonna beat her the old-fashioned way by studying really hard. In that case, we're gonna help you. We are? Sure. I mean, even though we totally detest the library, there's no way we're gonna let Mandy beat our Sammy. Come on! <sighs> So, where do we start? Right here, with the dictionaries. Huh? I knew going to the library was a bad idea! Oh. Afternoon, ladies. So good of you to pop in. Oh, Jerry, as your friend, I gotta tell you, your jokes are getting seriously old. <clears throat> Very well, then. Let's get down to business. It's been brought to our attention that the Honeybees, the California State Championship High School Cheerleading Squad, are MMCC. MMCC? Missing mid-cheering competition. The team was scheduled to arrive at the Nationals this morning in Miami, but they never materialized. Okay, I'm afraid to ask this, but uh, where do we fit in? You girls are to go undercover and find out if anyone knows what happened to them. As of right now, you're the new California State Champions, the Whoopets. <laughs> Please tell me this is another one of your bad jokes. No such luck, Sam. You mean we get to be cheerleaders? That's correct. No way! This mission rocks! Oh. And now for the gadgets. This week we have three pairs of spring-loaded sneakers, the mini locket rocket, a tube of lip stick, a metal cutting laser ring, and my personal favorite, instant hair helmet in a can. Oh, wow. Awesome lid, Jer. You know, for a bald dude. Hmm. Thank you, Clover. Now, goodbye and good luck on your trip. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Trip! <laughs> Who says my jokes aren't funny? I can't believe Jerry's making us do this. I mean, what could possibly be more humiliating? Wow. I'm sorry I asked. Ooh, I love it. Ooh. Please tell me you're not serious. Of course I'm serious, Sammy. I love cheerleading. Is it just the lame outfits, or do you like the brainless flitting around, ah. too? Okay, for your information, Sam, cheerleading is a highly competitive, highly challenging sport with a long-standing tradition of spirited optimism. And a long-standing tradition of big hair. Hm. Enough bickering, girls. We've got honeybees to find, remember? Right. right. So... Where do we start? We find out if any of these girly girls have a grudge against the honeybees. Did you say honeybees? Uh, yeah. Shame what happened to them, isn't it? Oh, pff, you kidding? Those witches won ten years in a row. About time someone else had a chance. Totally. I'm, like, glad they're MIA. Yeah, good riddance. Guess this means everyone's a suspect? Hmm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the National High School Cheerleading Competition. The first team up is the squad from Beverly Hills, California, the Woobets. Oh, I didn't know we were actually competing. I guess it's a good thing Jerry gave us these spring-loaded sneakers. Maybe this will lead.
to me becoming a professional pom-pom girl. Not unless you can come up with some catchy ditty to go along with this little presentation. We whoop to the left, we whoop to the right. The Beverly Hills girls are whoop out of sight. girls can help you study for the spelling bee. Oh, please. I'm not that desperate, Alex. Ladies, Ladies and, gentlemen, and gentlemen, that, that concludes, concludes today's competition. Yeah! And now for the judge's decision. Not yet. The Black <sighs> Widows must still compete. That's funny. I don't see any Black Widows on the roster. <laughs> What was that you said about cheerleaders huh? being girly girls, Sammy? Super scary. Is it me, or was there something very familiar about that routine? The decision is unanimous. The Black Widows are the winners, the new national champs. They'll compete in the world cheerleading competition in Tahiti. Whatever. Our second place winners are the team from Texas, and third place goes to the Womats. Get some kind of trophy or something. No time for trophies. I gotta get ready for my close up. You better hurry, because here come the news crews. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Clover, <laughs> captain of the Woo. Wow! Wait, 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 just a minute. Over here. Who are you? Rude much. What's your story? Where are you from? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's like, it's like she short-circuited or something. No more interviews. My team is very tired and needs to get back to training camp immediately. We must prepare for the world competition. <coughs> Who's the killjoy? The name on her uniform said Coach Sweet. How ironic. We better call Jerry and check her out. Oh, hello, girls. Just saw you on the telly. Thought you did a bang-up job. Not as good as the Black Widows, though. Their routine was positively explosive. Oh, rub it in, why don't ya? Jerry, what can you tell us about the Widow's coach? Her name's Sweet. Hmm, that's odd. Nothing comes up. Well, keep searching. Come on, girls. We better find the Widows before they leave for camp. I have a feeling we just found them. <laughs> the Woofette way. Hold on, girls. Let's try that window on the end. Good idea. Any more of this heat and my skin's gonna look like an old leather shoe. Ah! Oh! Hey, check it out. Now that's what I call an explosive performance. Wonder where she got this. <laughs> Sounds like it's coming from the roof. Come on! Uh, girls, I think oh. that smoke must have gotten to my brain because I'm seeing a giant spider-shaped helicopter. I see it too. Unfortunately, I think we need to get on board before it takes off. 
Not before we get all gussied up. Now what? and hope that no one sees us, and pray that we don't fall. Hey, this stuff works like a charm. Remind me to use it next time I want to lip lock with a boy. <laughs> About time we landed, I was beginning to feel like a monkey. Now that you mention it, your arms do look a little longer. Uh, ladies, when you're done chatting, you might want to take a look. That's the Black Widow's training camp? Not very upbeat or peppy, is it? Quick, hide! Come on, Alex. Quit goofing around. I'm not goofing! I'm stuck! Phew, a second longer and I would have been spider chow, wouldn't I? This thing is seriously handy. I think I'll get my dad one for Father's Day. Man, talk about a small practice space. How do they get anything done in here? Um, Alex, this is a closet. Oh, right. I knew that. Time for a little undercover action. Do you see any big, scary, muscle-bound cheerleaders, Sammy? Negative. Looks like the coast is clear. This is definitely the strangest cheerleading camp in the world. <gasps> and it just got a whole lot stranger. Whoa! I really hope that's the sound of fireworks. It's coming from in there. Don't look at me. I snuck us in here. Hey, I found the disguises. Huh? <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. Just watch my back. And my front. And, and all the rest of me. Sport, but this type of training seems a bit extreme. <gasps> nice going, Jeer. Well, did I catch you at a bad time? Actually, it wasn't that bad until you called. Don't mind her, she's just a bit tense. So quickly, what have you got? Turns out Candy's real name is Margaret Nussbaum. She's an ex-robotics engineer for the US Military Combat Department. Explains a lot about the little operation we saw in the other room. The reason I couldn't find her in the database is because she changed her name to Candy Sweet just last week after opening her cheerleading camp in Nevada. And one more thing, she went to the same high school as the missing honeybees, only she graduated 10 years earlier. Cheer. Roll that tape of the state competition again. I knew I recognized the Black Widow's routine from somewhere. It's the exact same as the honeybees. You know, only robotically enhanced. You're pretty smart for a ah! cheerleader. <gasps> Let go of us! Oh, I don't think so. I simply can't risk you whoopets going out into the world and blabbing about my master plan. Master plan? And here I thought you were smart. Oh well, guess I'll just have to spell it out for you. You see, when I take my Black Widows to the world competition, they're gonna put on a show no one will ever forget. Your point? They're going to take out everyone in that entire stadium. All those who love the vapid world of cheerleading, that is. Um, why so bitter, Candy? Like, what did the vapid world of cheerleading ever do to you? I tried out for the honeybees ten years ago, but didn't make the squad. Apparently, I wasn't sweet enough. What is that thing? Oh, just a little machine I invented to download the honeybees' moves and put them into the brains of my robots. Now I'm going to use it on you girls. But we aren't even real cheerleaders. We don't know any moves. Then I guess my machine will just turn your brains to mush. To the spider copter. My brain turning to mush, I'll never win the spelling bee. And I'll never get to become a professional cheerleader. Actually, Clover, 
Having no brain might increase your chances. Um, girls, this really isn't the time for one of your squabbles. In case you haven't noticed, we're in serious trouble here! You're right. We better use our brains to figure out how to get out of here before it's too late. Okay, girls, here's the plan. I'll call Jerry and tell him we need to get to Tahiti ASAP. Clover, you free the bees and restore their memories. And Alex, you figure out how to put an end to this very, very, very bad hair day. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the World Cheerleading Competition. Please give a warm welcome to our first competitors from the United States. It's the Black Widows. Today is not your lucky day. Your cheering is so lame and vapid. Our attack will be quite harsh and rapid. Widows, attack! Very unorthodox and very original. Uh. Hey, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Great, we're surrounded. Oh well, at least we get to go down in a blaze of glory with the whole world watching. And listening. Come again? I got a plan. Think you girls can bust me out of here and keep the widows busy for a while? Trust me, this'll work like a charm. Just make sure you don't stick around for the grand finale. <laughs> saved us, and you totally saved cheerleading. Not if I have <gasps> anything to say about it. Uh, I'd watch where I pointed that thing if I were you, Margaret. I'm so glad the Widows exploded and the Honeybees won the world competition. Yeah, at least they're slightly less scary. Speaking of bees, haven't you got a spelling bee to get to, Sammy? Forget about it. There's no way I can win. I never got a chance to study. Hello? We've been over this. You're like the smartest girl at Bev High. And besides, you can't just let Mandy beat you. She's a cheater, not to mention our evil nemesis. As if she has a choice in the matter. I am going to beat the Capri pants off her. <laughs> Mandy caught herself a little case of stage fright. Guess none of her fancy training worked. On second thought, I think I will compete. Uh, good luck, Mandy. Looks like you're gonna need it. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 